What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and it's been a while since I made one of these, so I figured I should update my list for the strongest champions in solo queue. Let's get started. Starting in the top lane, of which I think the strongest champion right now is actually Wukong. The Black Cleaver changes did him well, and in a top lane meta so heavily reliant on initiating and teleport plays, Wukong really shines through. His ultimate in combination with his stealth lets you set up some really solid teamfights, and gives him both great roams and great teleport plays. His laning phase is also fairly strong as he can help a gank effectively, and has good trading and disengage. And he also scales incredibly well with a lot of hybrid items like Black Cleaver, allowing him to become a premier bruiser with just a perfect amount of damage and a lot of tankiness to dominate in teamfights and in skirmishes. And depending on what your team needs, you could opt for more damage or more tankiness for a very dynamic build path. Wukong can be vulnerable in some certain lane matchups though, as well as versus teams who can disengage well, but with clever use of his stealth and gap closers, you can usually still set up some good trades and some good fights. Next up, we have the strongest jungler, who I believe to be Vi. Vi succeeds a lot due to the fact that she has a fairly dynamic playstyle. You can go full tank and be a frontline initiator, or perhaps build a tiny bit of damage and play as a bruiser, or maybe just protect your carries. Either way, she snowballs really well due to her playmaking potential. Her ganks are great and her teamfights are solid as well, not to mention her amazing pick potential. She also does a great job of helping her team kill tanks by kiting and shredding the armor of her opponents, and so she can perform the role that you would want any jungler to perform in a game really effectively. Not to mention her mechanics are quite easy and Vi is a fairly easy champion to pick up and do well with, however she does suffer a little bit by lacking area of effect crowd control and so some other junglers might have stronger teamfight initiations than her, but her point and click ultimate gives her a great fight onto an out of position target. After that, we have the strongest mid laner, Ari. I really like Ari because she's essentially the pinnacle of a versatile mage. She can play a poke role with her reasonably high range spells, or can play more of a bursty assassin role by landing a charm and going all in on a target. Or she can kite out and play a style similar to an AD carry by using her charm to kite and disengage and her ultimate for positioning. Overall, right now, Ari's kit makes her an extremely dynamic champion that allows her to dominate in both the laning phase due to her strong poke and powerful all-in, as well as in team fights, since she does such a good job of killing tanks and can also catch targets out and create picks with her charm, and overall makes her a very strong option in the current meta. And once she hits level 6, she's extremely difficult to gank, and so you have a little bit more power to push up and roam, of which she is great at doing. She can be a little bit squishy though, and so tends to be extremely vulnerable when her ultimate is on cooldown, so make sure you play a lot more defensive when you don't have your ultimate up. Next for the strongest AD carry we have Ash. Even with the minor nerf in patch 5.12, Ash still reigns supreme in this, mainly due to the raw utility that she brings as a champion. I don't think the nerf hurt her too much and overall the utility she brings with a permanent slow, global vision and an insanely powerful ultimate allow her to dominate teamfights really well and makes her have a very easy time kiting out tanks, but also brings the option of her initiating teamfights, which not many AD carries can really bring to a team and is actually really strong. Ash's ultimate is one of the best tools in the game for creating picks and starting fights, and in doing so, you can win a lot of fights and pick up a lot of free kills just by ulting someone out of position. It's really strong and the kiting potential and hawkshot are great tools to help keep her safe. She can be vulnerable to being initiated on though due to her lack of mobility, so just be careful both in lane and in team fights to not get into a position where your opponents can jump in on you. And last but not least, we have the strongest support, who I see as Janna. In a meta dominated by tanks, the premier kiting support is bound to succeed. Tanks really get countered by kiting, and Janna kites tanks pretty much better than any other support, as well as doing a great job versus assassins and bruisers as well. Janna is so good right now, essentially because she does such a good job of countering the other meta champions as a whole. While other supports tend to have a major weakness, Janna's only real problem is that her laning phase isn't above average. 
But with high range poke AD carries like Ash and Caitlyn coming into the meta, Janna is super good right now because she's really strong in a lane when paired with a high range poke AD carry who isn't looking to all in fights most of the time, but rather bait and disengage, which Janna is excellent at doing due to her crowd control and shield. And so her laning phase is definitely good enough, and she counters a decent amount of champions in lane as well. However, Janna's pick potential compared to other supports is not as great, so you often have to get a little bit creative with things like insect plays to help catch people out. But other than those things, she's a great option for the support role and is fairly easy to play too. And that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button to support me, as well as you can check out some of my other videos on the screen too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.